Sure. Well, I mean, the reality is that this is a not insignificantly sized city. We are basically the public works department for a temporary city. Everywhere we have receptacles, we have three different streams. We have compost, recycling, and landfill, um, and signage, and then we have trash talker volunteers that help educate the patrons about what goes where. You know, we're looking at a smaller capacity this year, but we're still talking, you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds of waste. Uh, typically, we're able to divert at least 50% of that waste. You know, we were the first festival to have a permanent solar array on site, um, a permanent compost pad on site. Um, we have an am amazing food recovery program to ensure that there's not significant food waste and it's actually going where it can be utilized in the commu community for those that need it. The permanent solar array, um, that provides a lot of power offsetting um, year-round, so when the farm's not being used for Bonnaroo specifically. So uh, we're cleaning, well I was cleaning up my own campground, picking up uh, basically uh, uh, our recyclables, and I turned it into our trading post. They gave me a vulture, and then the vulture was turned into the Santa Rue trading post, and they gave me a food vulture. So now I got free food. <laughs> I do think that there are other festivals that are think doing more upstream thinking. Um, I don't know that it's universal, but I think it is starting to head in the right direction. And I think a lot of it has to be with do with the patrons holding them to an accountable level um, and kind of expecting that from that large of a of an event to happen.